So let's continue. Exercise, convert the data set to a matrix. Ah, it's an important exercise. So you have this data set object and it has different variables, right? So you want to take this data set and within base R, you uh, select our outcome is wages, right? The wage. The treatment variable is job help. So that's how we access to our numeric variables for job help and wage. So if you do here, let's comment this out. If you do here, let's see what Y is, or like, let's see the class of Y first. Like you can also do structure. Yes, it's a numeric vector of length 1000. So, okay. Now next, what do we need? The most important and probably interesting part. So we, we have our data set, right? And let's see its names again. So, So we have data set and these are the, the, the variables in our data set. We already allocated wage into a, ve a separate vector Y and we allocated job help into a sec separate vector call, we, we call W. Now we want just these six variables that are neither Y nor W, right? Uh, so we do, we take data set and now it's a data frame. We select or deselect, as you can see, it has minus. We we don't want to take job help and we don't want to take wage. Now let's see what it what it what this object look like. Let's remove X. When we remove it, it's just our data set without those two variables. So we deselected them. So what happens if we don't put minus and just do it with a plus? It will be just a data set with two variables, job help and wage, because we selected only these variables. Now, when we do minus, we select everything except these variables. Okay. Next, what we do, we pipe this into something. So what is this object right now before we do anything with it? It's a data frame, still a data frame, right? When we, our select function takes a data frame and outputs a data frame. Next, what we can do, what we want to do is to convert this into a matrix. So what would happen if we just naively convert it as matrix, right? That's what, um, what happens? Yeah, it converts it into matrix, but look at it. It's not a numeric matrix. It's a, actually a character matrix. And we don't want this, right? We want a numeric matrix. So, one thing to do is to actually use the machinery of uh, linear model uh, functions, model matrix. Model matrix takes as an argument a formula, just like a lamb, right? Say y as a function of x plus z and so on, except we need to say the true names of the objects. Now, since we already don't have Y or W in our dataset because we deselected them, what we say is that create a model matrix dot. And what it means is that it doesn't have a dependent variable and take every single, every single variable in our dataset and prepare them for linear regression. What does this dot here does? It's a placeholder. So remember if if we didn't do this, if we just started with model matrix, we would say what data we should use. We should use data set. But we do not use data set because first we want to transform certain things, right? We want, we cannot directly put data set here, or we could, but we, it's not very that easy. So what we do, we do data set and we pipe it. We transform it first, we pipe it into model matrix. And this dot here says, take the object that has been piped 
into here. So you would say, why would, why don't we need to put dot in here then? Well, we could. Oops. We could see it will work. We could omit it. It's kind of, or yeah. So, but, but here model matrix requires actually to put dot because if you just don't put this, it will break. No terms, component, nor attribute, right? Data equals to dot. This, so this dot does a different operation than this dot. Finally, we convert everything into a numeric matrix. Look, this was a factor variable which had yes, no, yes, no. Now it's converted into a numeric variable of zeros and ones. You can look at its head. Let's see its head. You see, everything is numeric now. And if we took, take, ask class, what class it will be? It's a matrix. So now we have this. This is what we wanted. And we need to save it as X matrix. Now there is one problem. Remember, our X has this intercept thingy. And we don't need it. We don't need intercept. We don't need a, this variable. So what do we do? We just deselect using base R. We cannot use select something right here because X is not now is not a data frame. It's a matrix. And how do we operate with matrices? We use base R and we say, OK, what does it mean? X select F sing every row. Don't do anything with rows, but deselect the very first column, which is intercept. Voila. And so we can do X and show us the first six rows. This is our X matrix.